Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to rotate objects. So, very easy, a pretty basic function, but there are a couple other things you can do when you rotate too that are kind of hidden tricks, so let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we need to do when we're wanting to rotate an object is we want to click the rotate button, and that is in the modify box under the home tab. So it's right here. We're going to left hand click on that. And then we're going to bring this down, and it's going to ask us to select the object we want to rotate. So since we have the rectangle in the middle, we're going to select that, left hand click. Then we're going to click enter as we are done. And now it's asking us to specify a base point to rotate around. So we will choose this point right here. We're going to left hand click. And as you can see, I can now rotate it any which way. I can go 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Um, 270, I can even go 277 if I wanted to, and I would type that in, and that is a specific angle that I can have rotated. If I want to rotate it around a different point, I can actually come up here, if I want to rotate it up here, and rotate around this point up here. So you can rotate anywhere you want, but typically if you're going to rotate an object, it's a little bit easier to do it from the base point of the object itself. Alright, so there are a couple other functions when talking about rotating objects, and those functions are kind of immersed inside the rotation, and that is going to be your copy and reference function. So to use the copy function, we're going to go up to the rotate button, press rotate, and then we're going to go down here and select the object we want to rotate. So we're going to press the left hand uh, mouse button, click it, press enter, select our base point, and up until this point, it's the same as if you were to just regular rotate an object. But now, instead, we're going to click a C for copy. And as you can see below, it's giving us the copy or reference option. We're going to click C or press C for copy, press enter. And as you can see, this allows us to bring out a um, secondary object that is a copy of the original without moving the original. So I can rotate it around that base point. Click enter and as you can see it took the original, made a copy and allowed me to rotate around the base point that I had selected. The second thing we can do is use the reference point. So basically what this allows to do is say I want to align these two squares up and connect them. I can use that reference point to reference my base point then move it to these two points right here. And that way it will connect easily and kind of seamlessly. So to do that we're going to click the rotate button again. I'm going to click this object because I want to move this one. We're going to select it. I'm going to click enter. I'm still going to keep the same base point. Then right now I'm going to click reference R. Now I'm going to reference. This is going to be the first point I click right here. And then this is going to be the second point. And as you can see, it's rotating around that base point while I bring it up, because snap mode is on, while I bring it up to this part of the square. So it is referencing that first point while I bring it up to the second point, and there we go. So instead of rotating around that uh, specific base point, I was able to bring it up and bring it over to the other side of the square. So reference can be kind of useful when you're trying to um, put a... Or, join a couple objects together that you have no idea basically what angle they're at. But past that, not really something I use too often. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, if you liked the video, thought it was helpful, leave a like below. If you have any better ways of doing anything or better examples, leave them in the comments. If you want to see something done, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I try and post helpful videos uh, like this one so people can kind of get a better understanding of AutoCAD. But past that, I hope everyone has a good rest of the day, and thanks for watching.